This week was crazy with assertions and opinions about AI taking over the world. I mean, I understand why people are afraid of this model, uh, GPT-3, just GPT, whatsoever. But I wanted to do a quick and simple video to explain why probability model are just probabilities and hopefully convince you that for the moment, we should not be worried about ChatGPT being intelligent and replacing human everywhere. But maybe in the future, we'll have powerful models that are able to think like humans, but for the moment, we're not at this level. So let's start uh, by showing you an example of a simple, simple basic language model. Um, let's take this text, for example. Let's start with uh, I'm working at. For your brain, the possible answer are maybe a restaurant, a coffee shop, a driving school. Um, so you know the world that come after I'm working at, you know, the possible worlds. So if you train a model with this prompt I'm working at and uh, at restaurant after that, it will keep at 100% probability um, saying I'm working at the restaurant. So the next time you will keep the prompt, uh, understand the word prompt here because it is the base that you give to the model and it keeps the context of the text generation te uh, mechanism. So um, with maybe model will learn that with 100% probability when you have I am working at the next time is restaurant despite the fact you have other possibility it will always predict restaurant so if you replace restaurant with computer and retrain your model it will generate I'm working at a computer each time it will prompt I'm working at a so um, it is just probability for the model it cannot correct that the model cannot understand that computer does not come after I'm working at it will just learn that and say the next time you will give the prompt I'm working at just say computer uh, so um, you can basically understand that he has no brain just a bunch of probability and the model will um, calculate the world that will appear after a prompt with a higher probability and print and then continue the, the, the text generation mechanism so if you just have I'm working at the next term, if the language shall learn the word I'm working at the restaurant, the next term will be A. So uh, next, every time you will give the prompt I'm working at, the mother will give you a, a and uh, then restaurant, and then so forth and so forth. So um, um, this is how basically large language models work. It's just that they are framed on a huge amount of text. Let's take this as an example. Let take this next example. Uh, let imagine you have a baby robot with zero knowledge and you want to teach to this robot how to say two simple sentence. Really stupid sentence, by the way. But anyway, this sentence are, I am a human, so I think. I am a robot, so I dance. Um, when you will give a prompt with, I am a robot, so I, you do not complete the sentence. With a high probability, the mother will say, I dance instead of think because he learned that after the sequence of texts, I am a robot, so I dance is more likely to come. And uh, the next time we'll give this prompt, it will just generate dance. Uh, you may you may think if the if the model just generate I'm a robot, so I dance. Uh, stupid, by the way, uh, that the model think and that the model is conscious and know that. Uh, um, human think and robot dance, for example. Maybe you, you may think the robot or the model understand the meaning behind those sentences and are able to distinguish dancing and thinking, but actually not. He just knows the probability of dancing coming after I and thinking coming after I. So he doesn't know what dance means. He doesn't know what think means. He just know how likely dance can come after think. When you have a prompt, I am a robot, so I. So the machine understand only numbers, as I was saying. So um, maybe put a probability on this uh, term, like 0 0.9 probability after a human, um, after I am a human, so I. It will put a probability maybe 0 0.9 for think and uh, 0 0.1 for dance. And next time we will just, with highest probability, generate dance. So I will just explain it to you with a simple uh, Eiden Markov model. So you can see how maybe um, you can generate small text with a simple model, but without this model being intelligent. Okay, this is um, a hidden mark of model. You have a state here, like pronoun, verb, and noun, for example, and you have hidden state here. So 
Uh, I forgot to put the start here. Um, let's say we start at the pronoun, okay? When this model will see, if you train this model and he learned those probabilities, when it will start here, it will know that every time we have a pronoun and we start with this pronoun, we have I. So the model will just generate I. And we want probability after generating I, we go to verb. We go to verb. So it will move from this state to the verb state and then choose a probability based on, I mean, choose a, a state based on the probability that it has here and the, the um, last um, connection between the, the last state and the actual state and just calculate the probability maybe in this case we choose it and then food and you may think the model understand why eating what eating means not unfortunately not you understand that after i with 0.4 probability it come with 0.5 probability not actually 0.4 0.5 there's a lot of calculation behind but you understand the concept um food comes and uh, it's able to generate i drink water or i eat food but it has no idea what it means, what drink means. So you may think defining a world is giving like a kind of sense to this world. The model may know, may, may be able to generate the definition of drink, but it doesn't have an intrinsic or uh, um, understanding of the world. So that's the whole point of language model, using probabilities, to generate sentences. So when you have I add, you generate the next word depending on the last sentence it has, and uh, so forth and so forth. And it will be able to generate a huge amount of text with really small amount of um, errors because it has been trained on a really huge amount of text. So if you take billions of text, the language will be able to know that after um, uh, Elon Musk's companies to be kind of from Tesla, Twitter, or whatever, because it learns that um, with higher probability, after Elon Musk see you off, you have those texts. It doesn't even know that those texts are actually companies, it's just text for, it's just probabilities for the model. So at this moment right now, at this level, we are not at, um, the state where the machine can take over the world or whatever. And maybe in the future we will do that. We'll be at this level, but for the moment it's not. And when you understand the architecture a bit behind those models, you understand why they need to be trained offline. Because if you're able to give this text to this model and you just generate something based on the probability that you calculate here, you will be able to generate any kind of text based on bias that we add on the data. For example, if um, you just say something with the racist to the model it doesn't understand why being racist man it just learned the world and the next time it will say the same thing the same racist stuff so you you really need to be cautious while using those models i think the open ai team or i don't know ai 21 labs team actually kind of a google team yeah actually kind of make a lot of work in behind the scene cleaning the data and making sure there is no buyer in the in the actual data and um, create models that, that are actually safe for us. So actually those models are not connected to internet. So uh, they, are, they are not supposed to understand everything about you, I don't know, and search things about you and trading you are. You're not supposed to be afraid of them, okay? So that's the world um, idea behind this video. I hope you liked it and you understood a lot of things. Um, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye. Uh, by the way, I made a really long article explaining a bit more about um, the topic. So if you want to dive a bit deeper in the topic, just click on the link in the description.